assalam alaikum uh, today our topic is about the mohair fiber versus wool fiber what are the difference between these fibers in the recent last lectures we have study about uh, the physical properties uh, of both fibers uh, advantages and processing methods uh, disadvantages and end uses its physical uh, and tensile properties and source of origin of the both fibers uh, before discussing the difference between the uh, mohair fiber and uh, wool fiber let me clear you uh, when we go through the classi classification of uh, fibers fibers classified into the main categories natural fiber uh, man-made fibers and regenerated fiber further we go through classification and natural fibers are converted into animal fibers vegetable fibers and minerals and further we classify the animal fibers these are the source of mohair fiber <coughs> belongs to this category and wool fiber belongs to the animal fibers uh, category because their source of origin is basically hairs of animals uh, first we discuss about the source or origin of uh, both fibers uh, and mohair it is made of angora uh, goat while the wool it is made from fleece of a sheep uh, this is the main uh, origin difference and mohair comes in shade of white black gray red and brown where uh, about the wool uh, comes in many grades grow differently based on climate uh, nutrition and other conditions mohair difficult to produce in high quality thus fine mohair is very very rare uh, regarding wool, uh, finer wools are softer, therefore are used in clothing. Mohair is a stronger fiber than wool and it is naturally softer as well. It has been used in automotive and aeronautical industry due to its extreme fire retardant properties and as well suited in noise control barrier. Uh, thanks to its uh, sound or observancy this is the main uh, end users uh, are applications of uh, mohair fiber uh, further the microscopic uh, uh, images uh, of mohair fiber and wool when we observe the difference uh, and in the mohair fiber the microscopical view is uh, like uh, dots or uh, you can see beads while uh, in case of mohair fiber these are slightly cracks this is the microscopic view of uh, the wool fiber this is the difference uh, here can, can you see little uh, bit cracks in wool but the characteristics of uh, our uh, differences uh, with respect to both uh, we can say mohair characteristics uh, durable yet lightweight and in case wool can be coarse or soft and mohair is resistant to creasing and insulating lustrous relatively expensive these are lustrous is a good property and relatively but relatively expensive mohair fiber is in case of wool it is warm wrinkle resistance naturally elastic relatively inexpensive as compared to mohair Gradings uh, with respect to gradings, the uh, kids mohair is finest uh, grade of mohair and uh, comes from shearing of young angora goat. Uh, it is the main source uh, for fine uh, mohair. While in case of uh, wool, merino wool is the most valuable of wool and it is the first durable merino sheep is have evolved to live in uh, tertius climate of New Zealand South Alp making their wool extremely tough merino uh, wool is most expensive as compared to other wool categories and mostly used in the uh, textile sector and it is preferable you can say merino wool is preferable with respect to end uses 
Uh, further, the fiber specification of wool and mohair micron with respect to micron projection micron is 25.8, while in case of mohair it is 27. And micron CV of wool is comparatively low, and in case of mohair it is high, and fiber length HMMM and same CV and short fiber percentage below 30 percent and below 40 percent in case of wool it's five percent while in mohair it's negligible or nil and while short fibers we cannot say the short fibers short fibers are basically considered the fibers having length below 12 to 13 millimeter uh, this is just uh, you can say cat uh, categorized with respect to um, 30 mm and 40 mm below. Um, NEFS uh, per gram, NEFS per gram is almost the same. Uh, there is no difference and humidity in the same. Uh, uh, this is the study of uh, uh, yarn produced from the wool fiber and uh, mohair fiber. And it is the result of winding a single yarn and a folding double yarn or plied yarn. Here is a mohair fiber single yarn winding results and same uh, for plied yarn. Same count uh, taken uh, 39 nm and 39 mm plied yarn, almost uh, same count nearly. No? Twist, uh, twist factor, uh, twist per meter is almost the uh, uh, same for the single when we compare uh, single yarn to single yarn or winding to winding and folding to uh, folding 581 and 585 and uh, in case of folding double 52 and folding uh, mohair uh, TPM uh, yeah, or you can say twist per meter double 54 same. Uh, twist direction is same. Uh, we have uh, done apple to apple comparison. Here the yarn characteristics uh, you can say uh, U percent uh, U percent of uh, winding uh, mohair fiber is comparat uh, comparatively high as compared to wool. In case of uh, folded yarn, mohair is high as compared to wool. CVM CVM uh, almost uh, uh, in case of wool, you can say that uh, is better uh, uh, rather than uh, mohair. In the same trend is for the applied yarn. Thin places uh, considered minus 50 plus 50 naps. Uh, uh, you can say the thin places there is the difference in case of mohair uh, comparatively higher. Uh, even you can say three, four three to four times higher as compared to wool. Further uh, tensile property, you can say uh, tenacity, elongation, elongation of uh, uh, wool, <coughs> tenacity of wool is 7.55 while in case of mohair, uh, winding result 6.3. And uh, tensile property of uh, wool fiber are better than mohair fiber and elongation here elongation 14.6 uh, while in case of mohair 8.7 almost half and file in the case of folded yarn 18.4 and in case of folded yarn for mohair it is 15.4 hairiness s3 value hairiness level of uh, uh, for the wool is better as compared to mohair almost 50 percent improved uh, more than 50 percent improved figure is 938 while in case of mohair uh, 2113 and in the same trend for the folded yarn hairiness 1023 while in case of mohair 2092 so the same at the same count uh, same parameter same twist level properties uh, yarn appearance wise are the yarn characteristics of wool fiber in case of uh, winding and in case of folded yarn are comparatively better than wool. 
Here is relaxation, shrinkage or hygral expansion. Hygral expansion is a change in length uh, in case of change uh, humidity, you can say humidity. Here is a trend of uh, both fibers in uh, relaxation, uh, shrinkage and hygral expansion. These are the values mentioned. I hope uh, by this uh, uh, lecture your concept about uh, the both uh, mohair fiber and uh, wool fiber would be very clear we have studied the differences and origin and uh, its fiber uh, differences characteristics differences and uh, yarn we have also shared about the yarn uh, result differences of plied yarn and uh, winding yarn in the same way we have uh, also share the fabric uh, result of shrinkage and hygral expansion moir fibers are about uh, is moir is finer than wool it's about 20 to uh, 25 to 14 micron which is similar to wool but is known as stronger smooth and resilience than wool due to long staple at uh, finest mohair comes from the first three shearings of angora goat it is the main source of uh, finest uh, wool, uh, sorry, finest uh, mohair. I hope uh, your concept about uh, the both fibers would be very clear. Uh, and we will see you in next lecture with another topic. Thank you, Allah.